I want to start this course strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you nine valuable tips, nine valuable tips that if you didn't watch anything else in the course, at least you will be able to bring some value to your business. But before that, I'm going to do something that for some of you might be a little bit boring, which is show you how to sign up to Sales Navigator. And what you will need to do is normally up here, you will have something that talks about the premium plan. In my case, it's talking about learning skills. So I would just click here, go down here, sell solution. This page opens up and then you have these options here. Request a free demo, start your free trial. I have already used my free trial. So if I click on it, it will take me to this part here and you have other plans, but I want the sales navigator professional plan. So reactivate now. And then you choose if you want to pay annual or if you want to pay monthly, fill out all the fields. And from here, you know how to take it, right? Excellent. So now we're going to talk about the nine tips that no matter what you should take with you, nine tips that are really, really good and that we will cover through the course. But right now I want to share them with you in a brief way so that you can learn something from the get go. First thing will be to go to discover, edit your sales preferences. And even though I talk about this in another lesson, I will just say, make sure that you fill out all of these fields. This way, LinkedIn Sales Navigator will help you find your ideal clients. If you do this, they will search for companies that feed your ideal buyer persona, or at least based on the preferences that you given them here. And it will help you a lot. It will save you time. Make sure that you do this. Tip number two will be to save your leads. Go here, search for leads, and let's just use this for the moment. Apply your sales preferences, 568 results, search. And now let's say that Noah is an ideal lead for me. It is my ideal buyer persona. Well, in that case, what I should do is make sure that I save them as leads and I can save them directly as a lead or I can save them in one of the lists. I'm going to click here and then you choose based on which company. So it will be this one. Don't worry if there is something that you're missing. We're going to go into detail of all of this in the later lessons. But again, I want to share with you some very valuable tips right now. So that will be tip number two. Make sure that you save your leads. You see that now it says save. This is very important. Now, tip number three, let's say that you meet with Noah, everything went well, and yes, indeed, he is the ideal buyer persona, the company, the industry, the size of the company, whatever, everything fits. And you say to yourself, oh, I wish I could have more leads just like Noah. Well, you can come to LinkedIn Sales Navigator, go to these three dots and click on view similar, view similar. And now LinkedIn Sales Navigator will show you people that according to their algorithm, they believe to be similar to Noah. They are not necessarily in the same location. They are not necessarily the same industry. I really couldn't tell you how does LinkedIn Sales Navigator run this algorithm? How does it work? But I can tell you that it is worth trying. For some of our clients, when we do this, the results that we get are not that good, but for many of them, you can find really, really good leads. So make sure to use this. This is a great tip, a great trick that not everybody uses. Tip number four, very important, very useful, posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days. Whenever you do a lead search, you have this option here, unless nobody has shared anything. If you click in this tab, it will take you to people out of that search, people that has actually shared something on LinkedIn. And why would you care about that? Because these are active users. They are active on LinkedIn and that will make it easier for you to build relationships with them, to try to open the door so that you can start working with their company. Tip number five, go to advanced search, search for leads. And now let's say that I'm looking for people in Bay Area. 
and I want people in operations and I want them to be CEOs, chief executive officers, chief operating officers, and I don't know, VPs, let's say. Okay. And now let's scroll down and here is tip number five, which is became a member. Use this filter to find people that have recently become members of LinkedIn. If now I click one to three months, it shows me that 35 people have become members of LinkedIn in the last three months. Why would you care about this? Because these are leads that have not been receiving sales messages on LinkedIn or, you know, they haven't been exposed to many people trying to build rapport with them or selling them anything. So this could be very interesting because it might be easier for you to sell them something. Tip number six, go to search for accounts. And now here, let's say that we are looking for companies in Asia and we want companies with, I don't know, let's say 51 to 1000 employees. And here is the tip that is the important one. Technologies used. If you click here, it shows you different technologies. So you can look for companies that use a particular technology. Let's say that you're looking for companies that use Apache. You click on it and now you have 24,000 companies. Okay, maybe that is a little bit too big, so let's narrow it down. And let's say you're looking for companies in Mumbai. Okay, now you have 1,000 companies. And of course you can keep filtering, but this is very interesting. It is not always 100% efficient, but it certainly can help you a lot. And sometimes your technology won't show up there, but look at what options they have and maybe you get lucky, maybe. And if you do and they have it there, then it's definitely a great tool to use. to use. Tip number seven, how to save a search. Now we have a possible search here, Madrid, people in Spain, industry, internet. We want to talk to owners and VPs of companies that are between 11 employees to 50 employees. Search, and now what I would recommend that you do is if this is a great search, Make sure that you save it. Go to save search and here you grab the name, whatever it is. And you save it. And the reason why you want to do that is because this way, whenever there is a change, whenever LinkedIn Sales Navigator realizes that there is someone else that fits this criteria, they would add it here. So when you click in this button here, it will show in here and we will see it later in the lesson that talks about this, you'll see that there are new leads that fit this criteria. Okay, very useful. Tip number eight, how to save emails. So as you know, LinkedIn Sales Navigator gives you a limited amount of emails per month. These are messages that you can send to people that are not your first degree connection. But some people have this icon here that says open. This means that you can send them messages through LinkedIn without using your emails and even if they are not your first degree connection. Very, very useful. Make sure to use it. Finally, tip number nine, and probably the most important one, make sure that you use the alerts that show up here. Right now, nothing is showing up here because I just created the account five minutes ago. But in the next lessons that I recorded, previous to this one, you will see alerts here. Now, whenever you cancel your account, you lose absolutely everything. So that kind of ugh, is not a great deal. But in any ways, going back to the tip, make sure that you use the alerts and we'll go in depth on that in another lesson, but make sure you use these alerts because it's the best way for you to build rapport with your leads and to open up the doors for you into your ideal clients' companies. Perfect. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you're getting as excited as I am about what is coming next because this course will help you make the most out of sales navigator and hopefully it will help you master it so that you can implement better strategies and you can generate better leads